So, Jason, maybe a quick introduction of yourself uh, to our audience here. Just say hi well, to them and, you know. I'm all... Bit... No, I'm okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been in the industry for a while now. Uh, started off just like everyone out there wanting to be a rock and roll star. Yes, wanting thing. to be... To have a band and everything. And it all fell apart. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. No, right. no, so, I don't think so. Yeah. Hashtag, there, hashtag relatable. <laughs> <laughs> so from, from there, I mean, I started um, getting myself involved with music production, um, writing, yeah, music yeah, yeah. arrangement. Nice. Um, through the years, um, I had my studio. I, had, I was mentoring people, yeah. kids. I uh, had educational program that I started on my own. And wow. at the same time, I was working with um, a lot of pro audio guys and companies out there, really designing nice. system for them. Um, yeah, everything that's got to do with audio, I, I put my hands in it or put my feet in it. Um, nice. Sink or swim, it works. <laughs> right, so, right. yeah, uh, cool, I've man. been having a lot of fun with audio, anything that's got to do with audio. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, I believe he has gone through a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ups and downs, right now, Jason. Yeah. Left and right. Every time, every <laughs> time, let yeah. me just say, every time he comes down, right, right. we will learn something new. Yeah, so do it's I. To that, yeah, Even it's to that we, extent. You know, at this age, you know, we still yeah. learn. And, uh, yeah. learn yeah. a lot. And yeah. I believe out there, there are a lot of people. Uh, we have also Desmond Yu, say hi. Desmond and George, <laughs> yeah, I you know, see. Old friends. Yep. Desmond and George, yeah. say hi. Seems like yeah. a gathering down here. Gathering we have George Leong. Yep, say I hi saw. as well, George. Hello, George. Yeah, another, wow, hey, another George. Another legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Still, uh, um, the, uh, the amazing part is he's still kicking, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Leong from Malaysia. We have Leong from KL also watching. Whoa. Thanks, Leong, for watching. All right. All right, awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Thanks, to, okay. thanks for being in the stream. It's nice having all of you here. Nice. It's nice having Jason here. There's as a well. lot of history going on in here. Yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. it? And it's going to be even more history <laughs> going on in here later. Okay, cool. All right. So, all right. You're still going to hear us. Don't worry. We're still here. Yeah, we're still here. All right. And I'm so going to remove this. We're going to roll back in time now. All right. Back mm -hmm. to the future. Back to, into the year 1988. That was the year um, we were making music. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That was the year when Mackie, uh, yeah. Mackie was founded by Greg Mackie. Yeah. He was an ex Boeing engineer and he, he started the brand. He started making a lot of audio gear to start off with during his spare time. He started hey, the brand it? Tapco. <laughs> and in the year 1988, uh, Mackie Design was uh, around. All right. That was the start of um, Mackey design. Mr. Greg Mackey. So, um, that year, the next year, in the 1989, um, we brought out the LM 1602. That was uh, a portable mixer, um, priced at around $400 US, a 16 channel mixer, um, 16 times 2 channel mixer. So, <laughs> during that time, mixers were really expensive. Right, right. It's all huge and bulky. Mm. And Mackie, Greg thought, you know, we need something for the musicians, for everybody right, right. who likes to or wants a mixer, right? So this were all built by hand at Greg's place. By hand? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. They were right, all right, built right. by hand, assembled mm. at his place. A uh, tiny production factory was uh, in Seattle, in his home. In his home. Wow. Right, nice. So, along that, um, this chain of uh, mixes continued from LM to CR, which was mixes that we all use with our uh, keyboard. I'm sure Mike had one. Yeah, we grew up <laughs> with that. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, I had. I had my first, Sorry, Mike. Uh, you. I had my first <laughs> yeah. Mixer that mm -hmm. it's so expensive. Despite that, it's even more expensive. But mm -hmm. this is like I had the 2008. Wow. Yeah, because it has like eight bars. Mm -hmm. It's the first eight bars. You said it works very well with the A dad. You're moving faster than I am. All right. Wow. So <laughs> can, 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 can I have a so reference? How much was a mixer back then? In na, let's say um, I'm a guy in nineteen eighty looking for a mixer. How much was that? Gonna in be? Sing dollars, it's all four no, four oh digits. Oh, back yeah. in the day four digits. Yep. Yeah, and it's like oh my oh, my. No uh, yeah. for for the eight bars it yeah. is, but yeah. for a CR would be between oh, yes, 900 yeah. and above. Wow. Yeah. That is... 
So CR was before, just for mixer, yeah. guys. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, so that's why I moved crazy. too fast. So, so the 1604 was yeah. the uh, uh, flagship, right? Um, until today, we still have them, right? With Very the nice. DLZ4 1604. Very nice. The oh, legacy continues. Yeah. Oh, this oh, God. Yeah. Sounds great, right? Yeah. We have upgraded the preamp, and it's all built like a tank. I, I Built like a tank. Yeah, I remember. Sorry, I got to inter intercept this because I used that VLZ 1202. Mm -hmm. That's in the same family. Yeah, way back in the nineties, I was playing in the band. Mm -hmm. It was like my sub mixer. It's a must sub mixer, mixer for every musician, especially keyboard players. Oh gosh, yeah. In That's fact, <laughs> you still find a lot of them yeah, out there. Um, people are still using it. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of rental companies are still running it, and the older VLCs you're saying, yeah, they nice. still work. I've come across mixers that were filled with dust, a right. layer of dust, right. dust it off, clean it up. Power it up again. Still and it's yeah. still working. Yeah. That's crazy. Because it is built like tank. Built like tank. So built like tank. I mean, amongst John one of the knows. famous user, I'm just going to pull some name now. <laughs> oh, right, a right, band right. that I love when Ooh. I was uh, d during the, uh, the 90s, Prodigy, right? <laughs> Liam Howitt, um, you still use the 1604 till today. Till today? Yep, wow. 205. Very For nice. his live rig. Gonna move on. Prodigy. That's the mixer you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So, during this time around in 1989, I think there was a huge. Sorry, sorry. 1999. There was a huge um, influx in um, Project Studio. Yes, yes. The big growth in that uh, part, of that sector, Home Studio, were beginning to proud out. Yeah. I mean, I had a home studio, you had a home studio. Mm -hmm. yeah. so I think the main reason behind it was um, multi-tracking finally got um, affordable. Yeah. Nice. Right, we don't need big multi-track machines, we don't need the real... Not yeah. that anymore. And yeah. We've got digital mix, uh, multi-track recorder like the ADAT, which, um, which City Music happened to <laughs> choose to be one of the distributors, weren't they? Oh, for Alice's. Yeah. Yeah, Alice's, we were, we yeah. were doing Alice's, ADAT. Yeah. I remember buying my first ADAT from you guys. Wow. Yep. So, with the ADAT, I mean, um, there was a demand for inline console. Yeah. So, the 8 bus was one of the inline consoles that was really famous and affordable. Um, yep. So, amongst the, the great users is Liam himself and Armand Van Houden. Okay, uh, obviously nice. from there things mm. moved on. We've got a digital mixer, which is the D8B, that started with the HUR human user interface, which mm. now this uh, most of the controller mixer controllers, door controllers have. Nice. Um, people call it the MCU, right? So it all began from there, and I've done quite a lot of work myself on the D8B. In fact, yeah, I got to, I got to intercept this because. You know, I, I was uh, one of them that visited your studio those days mm -hmm. and, and, and inspired me to get one. I was like, wow, this mixer is like the ultimate for the price. And mm -hmm. it's like, and then I managed to get a secondhand one. You know, I, get a, I, I got a secondhand <laughs> D8B. And uh, the, the main reason, because it works like simply 24 ins and 24 outs yeah. beautifully. Yep. So that's, that's nuts. amazing. Yeah. So yeah. it allow us to work directly with the door and everything. Yeah. So that was great with the plug-in features. It's yeah, never unheard of. Yeah. Yep. So it was another tech award winner. Um, but it seems like Mackie only does a lot of studio stuff. Right. So far, right? Yeah. Now nah, we don't do just do that. Anyway, um, anyway the Josh, next in line Josh is the Randolph, HR824. Josh and Randolph have fond memories of yeah, the 1604. See, in fact, Randolph says his one is still uh, working since 1991, <laughs> mm -hmm. which is two <laughs> years before even I was born. Uh. <laughs> before I was swimming in my dad. <laughs> I do know a couple of studios around in Singapore that still, still use it. HR824. That's HR crazy. Yeah. Um, one of oh, the them is Snake Weed. Right. Yeah. Snake Weed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so using the uh, Mackie. Yep. Nice. Charles. Very nice. Yep. So, nice. one hey. of the user that uses the HR824, you can see, yeah. well, our like friend, the legend Pharrell of the Willem. Phoenix. Mm. Right. So <laughs> he uses that, and I can see a Cork M1 down there too. M1! M1. <laughs> yeah, wow, that was like 
the first yeah, ultimate yeah. keyboard from Coop. Right, for, for for reference, right, I've only ever seen the M3 and we don't even have it in store anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, the M1. first one of them. Yeah, the first Nuts. Yeah, Coop sequencer built in. A workstation. Right, right. Nice. M1. Legend. Yep, the legend. legend. Now we're talking about a real hey. legend down here. Whoa. OG, OG. So this is the our first powered PA speaker. Very nice. That Very nice. we made. Uh, it was a plastic box. It's so millions out there. If you see any plastic box uh, PA speakers, right. we started the trend. Nice. Right. So yeah. we worked with RCF, and we 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 came up with the SRM four hundred and fifty. Yeah, you yeah, still yeah. find them to today. Yeah. Millions out there. People are still using them, and the legacy goes on. Right, I was right. using them in the club those days as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like so memorable for stage, for front yeah. of house. Yes, front of yep. house. Mm -hmm. I recently yeah. saw two at my wife's workplace. Yep. Oh, where was yeah. it? Uh, Chai Sing Huat. Shout out Chai Sing Huat Highway. My wife worked there. <laughs> uh, then, wow. then I saw two. Then it's Mackey, but it was blue colours. I'm wondering why is it blue colours. Mm -hmm. Because I've only ever seen the black and green one. Wow. And then I saw that. Yep, that's the and original version. Jesus show me that. Then mm -hmm. I was like, oh my, my. So but they still work. 1999. They still work. Wow, amazing. That's our info. And um, Mr. Jagger with yeah. his 450. Nice. nice. All right, so this is the MCU, which um, started the trend of uh, all door users having hardware controllers, controllers right? Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people just wanted a tactile controller for their door, and the MCU um, allow users to touch their mix finally and not just use a mouse. Right. right? Mm -hmm. So this is a picture of uh, my friend Paul Van Dyke with his... MCU system. Very nice. In the in wow, studio. Beautiful studio. All right. Um, well, the okay, this is more familiar already. Preamp. For me. Uh. I, th I think um, this is a significant uh, change, right? right? This started uh, the trend now. Everything that you find on what we have, it's got an Onyx preamp in there. So, Onyx preamp yeah. is a really. Musical preamp, super high gain, super clean preamp. So right, started right. off with the Onyx mixer. Yeah. Um, this has got uh, Perkins uh, British EQ. And British this EQ. mixer also allows you to have FireWire card, which allows you to use with your computer system. Right. Another all-in-one um, mixer, which so tons yet again. And really? you still find them out there. People still love them. People still like the sound. People like overdriving them. Well, yeah. that's why you like analog system. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So moving on, um, 2012, I think this was a leap from uh, what we were doing before. So we thought we wanted to free ourselves from the usual um, boundaries of using an anal analog console or digital console. You okay. can't move anywhere. You put your console there and then you're stuck in that position to mix. So right. we used the uh, iPad to be to use for as a controller. So this was the first uh, wireless controlled mixer. Nice. And nice. obviously a lot of other companies follow suit and mm -hmm. started doing their own version. Mm -hmm. um, I still think the master fader is got the best um, UI out there and it's easiest Easy to, to, to learn. Yes, I agree. Right? It looks so crazy like futuristic. Yeah, but it's, it's <laughs> future is now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> indeed. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of products out there that we have made, uh, but we think it's a legendary. And I think the next in line might be. Hey, the top my eight. boy. Right, thumb so twelve A. Super cost effective, versatile. Yep. Great cost savings. Yeah. Great power. Great low end. Yep. Sounds super sweet. Yep, got to listen to it to believe mixer. Yeah. It's our top selling mixer these days. Speaker, speaker. Uh, speaker, speaker, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the price, man. No, for the, I wouldn't, for the, sound, the price. I wouldn't say I'm wrong. There's a mixer behind the speaker. <laughs> right, 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 right. Let's not forget that, man. He knows better. <laughs> he knows better. That's why he said mixer. That's why. That's why. He tested me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Consider me, consider me tested. <laughs> So we have the best selling speaker we have out there now. Yeah. Right. So um back to you. Alright, alright, alright. Very cool.